Johnson to sort it all out for us. Nicole. The surviving suspect in the Boston Marathon bombing, Joe Karzarnev, goes silent after his Miranda rights are read. So the question now is, can all the statements he made to investigators be used in the case against him? Including allegedly saying after the bombing in Boston, he and his brother were headed to New York with the explosives they had left to do damage here in Times Square. Attorney David Schwartz weighs in. These statements will be suppressed in court. However, I think it's irrelevant because the government has so much evidence in this case. There's scientific evidence. There's DNA evidence. There's eyewitnesses. They don't need these statements to make their case at trial for the bombing suspect. But why the wait? Once the 19-year-old suspect was in custody, the FBI said the threat was over. That was Friday. Over the weekend, Joe Carr was interrogated. He had a hearing, then another. On Monday, his rights are read. I believe Miranda applies, though, from a legal standpoint, and I don't think the government can. The 19-year-old suspect also apparently points the finger at his brother, saying it was his brother's idea to detonate pressure cooker bombs at the marathon and that his brother recruited him. His brother is dead. Investigators will never be able to hear the other side. Still, regardless of what is being told to investigators, Joe Karzarnev faces the death penalty under federal law. It's absolutely a death penalty case. The question whether or not he'll get life in prison or the death penalty will go towards the mitigating circumstances ver versus the aggravating factors. So the, obviously the aggravating factors is a horrible crime, horrible act of terrorism versus he's a young kid. He was certainly influenced by the brother. So that would be the interesting part of this trial. The only way around the death penalty is whether or not this suspect can help investigators with leads. He can help himself at some point, not based on these statements, but as the trial goes forward, if he does have more information for the government, if he's going to give meaningful, substantial assistance to the government, and that would mean uncovering some other people, some other plots that are out there, that's how this defendant could save himself. Now, whether or not this suspect's Miranda rights were read in a timely fashion, many people want the answer to, but remember, Miranda rights were put in place to help build cases. And the attorney also says, in this case, it's the evidence that's most important. We are live in Times Square. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News. Tamsin, back to you. All right, Nicole, thank you. Well, joining me right now, retired NYPD Lieutenant,